Hello, my name is Alejandro Sainz. I'm a Scopia Customer Support Backbone Engineer. And this video is about how to install Scopia Management uh, version 8.3 in Linux. First step is to download the required installation package from PLDS. Here on the um, on the PLDS portal, it's important to, to search the, the installation package for Ubuntu. So I am uh, searching Scopia and Ubuntu here. And very important, the, the one you, you may need to install is the A32. Okay. Once you have uh, downloaded the, the software, um, the package, the installation package, you should extract. I am going to, to extract here with Ubuntu. OK. Something uh, very important while it's extracting um, is that we are using Ubuntu uh, Version 12 is, is, is the one required uh, for the installation. In this case, we are using uh, Ubuntu 12.04 and it's a desktop edition. You can use server edition, but take in consideration that do not have a graphical interface and maybe you should install it. So we need to, to open a terminal and we should go to, to the location, right? It's home downloads. Once here, we are going to, um, so, so we can install it. I may need to, to change the, the, the permissions of the installation package of the folder, okay? Once here, I am going to change the, I'm going to paste this, is ch mode. A plus X, Scopia Management, and the and the name of the file. Okay. Now it's green, so the permissions changed. So you can execute the binary file. Then what we need to do is to to install. Um, so we're going to use sudo slash sorry dot slash scopia management sudo Okay, and now it's going to, to install. Okay, we have the wizard now to install the, this version, 832.0.125. Okay, press enter to continue. And we can go to typical installation or custom. Uh, we are going to select typical. Then the the location where it's going to 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 be installed. Uh, and we should press enter.
ok it's, it's telling us how much space we have available it's ok so press enter to continue and now the scopia management uh, is installing it should take no more than than five minutes okay uh, now it's uh, the scope management is now running using an evaluation license uh, that is valid for 30 days okay we have the demo license and uh, we should press en enter to to exit from the installer okay so let's do that and now it's installed okay perfect so if we go here let me see I... okay our IP address is uh, is this one so we can go directly to that IP address And the default port of installation is the 8080, right? We we select the, the typical installation. We are hitting the user portal, but we need to go to the administrator portal. So it's slash uh, iView. And I'm going to use the default username and, and password. That is admin admin. And as you can see here, uh, we are joining the Scopia management install on on the Linux Ubuntu uh, server. Okay, uh, we have here the same uh, menu of the Windows uh, Scopia management for Windows. Uh, Gatekeeper should be should be installed on 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 uh, Windows server. So it's not allowed to have the the gatekeeper on the same server when you have Scopia management for for Linux for Ubuntu. Okay, and uh, if you have, uh, you can go to to PLDS to register and to activate the Scopia management, and here you can uh, you can apply the permanent license. As you can see right now. We have a, a temporary license, but here you can you can install the permanent license. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.